Hello, this is Furry 7 and welcome to part 5 of my Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. This is the first ever Let's Play I've ever done. However, I have done a whole bunch of other Dark Souls 2 videos that weren't Let's Plays. You can click that icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, <coughs> and uh, you can see my other, some of my other Dark Souls 2 videos. You can also uh, see those videos by... Uh, going to my channel and scrolling all the way down to the bottom, and all of my all of my Dark Souls 2 playlists are right there. <clears throat> so as you can tell by my voice, my voice is a lot better. It's almost fully healed, so it's awesome. <clears throat> so we left off. We were uh, just about to go to No Man's Wharf. Just about to go to No Man's Wharf. I have enough everything. Should. Great Soul Arrow, Dark Dark Orb, Resident Soul. So I was wondering if <coughs> I need some more I could use some more attunement. Let's see what is this in. But not really. I got everything I need. I got resonant soul here in case I need it. That's pretty much all I need. I'll go with this. <laughs> so that works. So yeah, I'll see how this works. Arrows. Let's see what it is. Dark orb. Oh, it kills him in one hit. That's awesome. Now, if only I can do this without dying. That'll be awesome. Oh, he got me. Oh, uh, no, I was gonna... I was gonna try to hit him... Ma I was gonna try to melee him with this thing, but... Nah. I don't need to. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I'll go on No Man's Wharf. I think uh, for this video, I'll go through pretty much the entirety of No Man's Wharf. So I, sh I should be able to do that fairly quickly, and then I'll um, then at the end of the video I'll just leave off at the beginning of Lost Bastille, Titanite Shard. Although I may have to come through here again if I can't get that Crystal Lizard. I think I can get the Crystal Lizard. So let's do this. <coughs> Oh, he didn't die in one hit. It's insane, I tell you. Supposed to die in one hit. You know this back. Uh, I think they patched this, but this thing wasn't originally lit like this, was it? It used to be. It was just. Uh, It used to be this thing was off. That that la this this light right here, this light wasn't always like this. So yeah, let's let's do this. Will you concern conserve some of my spell cast? Use resonant soul. He yields more than a hundred experience, so using resonant soul on him is okay. I don't want to waste all my experience points. Okay, that's all we need right there. We're done with the light for now. Let's see what we can do here. 
Aw, oh, dang. I'm definitely gonna need amber herbs, but I have plenty of amber herbs. I got plenty. This thing ain't gonna be able to reach him, is it? This thing has a super. Ah, I won't be able to work. I was gonna try to hit the dog, but that's not gonna be able to happen. Okay, that's enough for now. Whoops, I got hit by something. All right, uh, that out of the way. I think everything is working out nicely. So far, so good. Not so good for you, my friend. I'd say you have about two minutes. <laughs> that's from uh, that's a line from the movie Mission Impossible. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. There should be somebody dropping down, right? Yep, there he is. He's dropping down. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use an amber herb. It's the only way. Did he just drop down to the bottom there? He did. That guy used to be up here. We're not gonna be able to open this from here. But... Oh, I thought I heard something. Some footsteps. But, that will provide a, a good... Uh, Yay, a repair powder. I'm going to need that for the sunset staff. This sunset staff wears out constantly. So, okay. Let's do this. First of all, I'm going to have to... Um, this I don't need. Okay. Small, smooth, and silky stone. I can give that to Dinah and Tillo. Yeah, there's a... That, uh, there's a... There's a ferrous device over here. Ferrous contraption. But you really shouldn't waste your lock stones on it. It's actually not very helpful. All these, all these torches are lit already. You must have patched that, because when I first started, none of these things were lit. You had to light them all yourself. You had to start from the bonfire and light all of these things manually. You had to do all of it manually. I wonder do these Vangarians provide a hundred... Not a little bit, not really. Oh, a little bit. Let's, uh, kill that dog over there. Come on, man. Okay. That's it? Isn't there another dog around here? I thought there was. I thought there was two dogs. I don't know what is going on here. I don't think there's anything up here, is there? No, nothing up here. Okay. It's going great so far. All of these, these, these torches are all lit. These torches are all lit. 
They used to be they they before I guess there was a patch, but before the patch, none of these things were lit. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. I sneezed, but I couldn't find the mute button fast enough. Okay, I muted the mic that time. Just now when I sneezed. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to eat an amber herb. But I have plenty. I have plenty of amber herbs, so it's really not that bad. Two hundred twenty six. How much damage does this do? One seventy five. Okay, this is going to be a little difficult. Alright, that works. Because if you open the door normally, they will uh, smash through the wall and deal damage. Okay, that works. I know there's some more in here. Okay, that works. Now, I'm not going to talk to Gavilan until I first uh, do the chest and then roll away as fast as I can. Awesome. Silver talisman. Alright, cool. So this works. Gavlan Wheel. Who I'm Gavlan Wheel. Gavlan. <laughs> Gavlan Wheel. Gavlan Deal. Gavlan wants what with Gavlan. Okay, so. Am I ever going to use that Ring of Poise or Ring of Giants? Probably not. I'm probably never going to use it, but I wonder if I should buy it anyway. But let's sell everything first. We have a lot of stuff that needs selling. A lot of stuff I was saving for Lonesome Gavlin. I'm never going to use any of these melee weapons, so we can just sell all of these. Drang Lake Sword, too. Sell it? Yeah, I'll sell the Drang Lake Sword. I don't need it. <clears throat> I'm never going to use it. I might use some of those shields, but I'm not sure. Hell, all of this. I'm going to sell one of these sorcerer staff. Cleric Sacred Chime. I'll keep it just in case. Foot Soldier Seal. That's old. Hmm. Buckler. That core has 13 dexterity. Sell that one. These are okay. The blue wooden and the crimson parma. <clears throat> they both require six. But this one seems to be more. This one is better. I'll keep they both require the same strength. So I'll keep I'll sell this one. I'll keep that. Drang Lake Shield. Sixteen strength. I'm never gonna use that. Am I? Well it has a hundred. It has a hundred protection. <clears throat> Maybe sometime if I get like a really high level and then I don't need any of that stuff anymore, I'll get it. But imported set, I'm never going to use any of this. So I'm going to sell these. 
Hunter is set. I'm never going to use that. Leather set. Knight set. Heavy boots. Isn't that a part of the... <clears throat> I'll keep it because it's... I think the heavy boots is... Is technically part of the the pyromancer poise. I think the heavy boost is technically part of the pyromancer set, so I'll keep it. <clears throat> Traveling merchant hat, I'll keep that. Hollow soldier set. Hollow infantry set. <clears throat> And Gary and I just picked that up just now. Black Hollow Mage Robe. I'll keep it. I don't. I don't think I'm ever going to use it for anything, but I'll keep it just in case. Hexer set. Dranglaic. I'm never going to use these. Okay. Okay, I can sell this extra covetous silver servant ring because I have the, I already have the plus one version. The, I'm not I, and I can't equip both at the same time. It doesn't let me. I'm gonna sell this one. I cannot equip both at the same time. Any of these I don't need anymore. What is this? Boost dark defense. Play magic. Lightning. Oh my god. I'm probably never gonna use that. <coughs> I already got tons of spells. How many of these do I have? Three. I'll sell... I'll sell two of these. I'll sell one of these. Because I'm never going to use them anyway. These blue eye orbs I'm never going to use. I'll sell five of them. I'll keep one. Crack your red eye orbs. I'll keep it just in case. Soul vessel. Blend into environment. I'm never going to use that. What is this? Apply dark to right hand weapon. I'll sell this. Besides, I can buy more of those from uh, <coughs> Falcon if I need him. If I need more, I'll just buy more from Falcon. I don't need to sell any of those. Let's see what we got here. Power of mundane to weapon. I'll just sell it. I'm never going to use that. Okay. So we got 22,000 out of it. Which is good. I'll buy this Ring of Giants just for the sake of collecting all the rings, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I don't need any of this poison stuff. I'll get that for free eventually, too, so I don't... I don't really need any. Gavlan. Gav... What? With Gav... Okay, that's it. Need. <coughs> okay, good. So that's it. And I got more souls for Carillion of the Fold. I'm going to buy some uh, a ring from him. I'm going to buy some other stuff as well. As well. Whale. 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 Okay, do we have... Okay. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything on my way here. I'm trying to collect every item on the way. Here's something. Okay, set light. They must have patched this because before it was, uh, before it was, it was all of those torches that were not pre-lit. You had to light them yourself, starting at the bonfire. So they must have, they must have patched it. Awesome. What kind of what rings am I wearing now? Uh, that's okay. 
Also, this Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, it gives me more souls so I can get ammunition for my Resonant Soul spell. I'm always kind of afraid to use that Resonant Soul because it, I don't want it to, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be short on souls. I'm gonna have to use, um... Is one of these building, is this building, uh... No, it's the next building over. There's, uh, some hidden items in there. Oh my god, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna equip this, uh... This amber herb. And we can use as many as I need. Okay. Okay, we got a light right here if I need it. That is good. You gotta be careful of these, uh, pots. They'll poison you. If you hit them or roll into them. So, killing them with ranged attacks is preferred. Preferred. <laughs> Estus Flask Shard. Awesome. Yay, I got it. Last time I uh didn't actually get that that uh I didn't actually get that crystal lizard. It got away and then I had to come all the way back here. Why are there so many blood pools in here? What the heck was that? How'd he die? Crazy. How'd this guy die? What the heck? What? That is insane, man. <laughs> How's it possible? What the heck are those kids doing? Oh! I just remembered. You know what's going to be really funny? Watching the bloodstains immediately after we finish No Man's War. <laughs> and then the, all those those people are going to have to run all the way through No Man's Wharf, back to the ship all the way through, <clears throat> just to reach their bloodstain. It's going to be awesome. What is this? What is this? I thought, I thought somebody was in here. Okay. Awesome. Large, tight night shard. <laughs> That's kind of like my super short show. <laughs> I love large, tight night shard. It sounds like Mike's super short show. Okay, that's awesome. <coughs> Anything up here? Awesome! I'm gonna pull this chain. And here is the summon sign for Lucatiel of Mira. But I'm not gonna summon her just yet. Because, uh, if she gets into, the, into a fight with the guys on the docks, she's going to fall off. So it's best if I just leave that alone for now. Did I already pick up this item? I didn't drop down here already, did I? What happened to the item that was supposed to be here? 
What happened to the item that was supposed to be here? That's weird, I tell you. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's do this. There's one of the guys over there. Oops. I'll do Resonant Soul. I'll use two. I'll use one Resonant Soul and then the rest uh, Great Soul Arrow. Isn't that supposed to be three of them? Where's the other one? I thought there was three Dark Stalkers. Or Dark Lurkers, whatever those things are called. I thought there was supposed to be three of them. Five hundred damage! That's insane, I tell you. <clears throat> okay, what the? Oh my god, man. Crazy. His body is going crazy. Okay, let's go over here. And then pretty soon I'll go back. I'll go back over there and I'll get Luca Teal. I don't need my torch out right now. I don't need to break those. How's my staff doing? My staff? Uh, I may have to use a repair pattern. Because my staff is mm. going... Very well. I am not... Okay, <clears throat> buy item. Uh, shorten spell casting time. I'll definitely need that. I guess I could buy some spells now, but I don't really need to. I'm not going to be able to equip them right now until I get to a bonfire. But I'll buy another great soul arrow. I'll buy a great heavy soul arrow. That's all I need for now. If I need anything else, I'll get them later. The force, it is. I saw you, but the they are never. The force, it. I saw you. I'm just gonna make sure I exhaust all of his dialogue. The force, it is. I saw you, but they are never. The force, it. Okay. Young pupil. All right, awesome. Now he will relocate to Majula. So that is awesome. Be careful not to fall off of here. Now I'm gonna go back and get Luca Teal. <clears throat> and beat the boss. I think I'll use a uh, repair powder. Oh, awesome. That works. Oh, awesome. Now, let's go for the boss. The boss. We'll go for the boss. That's easy. Yeah, No Man's Wharf is pretty easy if you have amber herbs and repair powders. Well, you just need one repair powder. Pretty much. Okay, Luca Teal, just don't fall off. Oh my god, just don't fall. One, two, three, go. Oh, come on, man. Uh, 
And Gary and leggings. Awesome. Just gonna make sure I didn't. Wow, I didn't know he was up here. How come he wasn't like shooting at us or anything? What the heck? <laughs> he was standing up there the whole time, just staring at us. Crazy, I tell you. It's crazy, I tell you. None of this is anything. Where's Luca Teal? Okay, over there. Blue fire. Ooh. Fancy. <clears throat> Treasure chests or items in here. Okay. I'm not gonna go through till Luca Teal gets over here, because she sometimes, uh, sometimes it takes her a little while. That ring of restoration, the 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 the, heal, the health is restored is so slow that it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, let's go. I got my shortened spell casting speed thing. Okay, wait for Luca Teal. Luca Teal, do something. Stop him. Get his attention. Oh dang, he's still coming after me. Luca Teal. Do something. <laughs> okay. I want to use all of my souls on uh, Resonant Soul. How many? 140. How much does this? How much damage does this do? 129. So Dark Orb is better. Oh my God. Look at Luca Teal. She's almost taking no damage. Taking almost no damage from Flexile Sensory. And what happened to the boss music? Isn't that supposed to be boss music? I wasn't hearing any. I wasn't hearing any boss music. Hey. Flexile Sensory. Okay, cool. And this is where we'll get the Pyromancy Flame and the Fireball Spell. You know, I was thinking I should go back to uh, Forest of Fallen Giants. Maybe I can get a great Fireball. Maybe I can get a great Fireball. Okay, everybody. After you climb up this ladder, immediately turn around this way. So you see the chest. This is where the Pyromancy Flame is. And you get a free Pyromancy Fireball, so, awesome. see, there you go, Pyromancy Flame and Fireball, let's equip it now, yay, actually, nah, let's put that in the other hand, yay, that's awesome, alright, that's awesome, let's go, the Astrolabe, Yeah, but you can get a uh, great... See, I want to see if I can get Great Fall Leap Fireball. Because in my last playthrough, I actually got a Great Fireball from the first Flame Salamander I killed. Great Fireball. So, I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to see um, if I can go back there and maybe farm for Great Fireballs. I'm going to see if I can do it. Hopefully, I can get at least one or two Great Fireballs. As I uh, farm them. So this is going to be awesome. W watching all of the blood stains. Oh my god man. Somebody died right here. Just as they spawned in. Let's watch. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> and he's going to. That guy is going to have to run all the way through No Man's Wharf. To get up to here. Because there's only one bonfire in No Man's Wharf. Let's see this one. Oh my god, man. That's insane, I tell you. He just jumped right into the water. Let's watch this one. Yo, why do people keep doing that? You know, in every playthrough, there's always people who jump off to the side of here. And just roll off into the side. 
Why is that? Why do they keep turning? To, why does everybody keep turning to the left and jumping into the water? That's what everybody seems to do. Let's see what this one is. See, he did the same thing. The exact same thing. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, man. What is going on with everybody? I bet these guys... Let's see what this guy's doing. Same thing. Why does everybody keep dying in the same place? What's going on here? Let's touch, let's touch this blood stain. What is it? Oh, he probably jumped in there when there was no... <laughs> When there was no elevator here. Same thing. <laughs> Rolling in there when there's no elevator. <clears throat> there actually is a trick with this elevator that you can... Oh my god, what is he doing? What are those kids doing, anyway? There is actually a trick you can do. You can get a hidden item in this elevator. Oh my god, man. See, that was it. That was the hidden item. You probably can see it, but we'll go back. <clears throat> yeah, man, look at all those blood stains over there. <clears throat> and all of those people are going to have to run all the way through No Man's Wharf again. Just to get to the end here. It's crazy, I tell you. Let's get an item around here. Radiant life gem that really is gonna come in handy So you have to step on here and then immediately roll out of the way and then you jump on top of the elevator And we still haven't died mind you still haven't died During this entire playthrough Scimitar and repair powder. Another repair powder. Because since we used up the repair powder down there. See, that's it. Because <clears throat> repair powders can get expensive if you want to buy them from merchants. It's nice to get free repair powders. I'm going to sit at the bonfire. Uh, go to Majula, level up. Then we're going to go through the Lost Bastille. Common fruit. Those will come in handy too. You know, I should kill this Hyde Knight first before I attempt to do that. Great heavy solero. Great heavy. Okay, good. I'm going to kill this Hyde Knight, and then I'm going to go back to Majula. And then we'll probably end the video here. Yay, and he's dead. That was easy. Hide spear. I'll sell that to Gavlin the next time I see him, too. I want to make sure not to use... I think I used one of the uh, boss souls. I need to make sure not to use any more of those boss souls. <laughs> because... Uh, I want to sell them. I want to sell. I want to sell the boss souls to straight of Olafus when I get to him. <laughs> okay, I coughed just now. Let me go over here. I honestly don't know how long this video's been going on. So you fought 
Let us resume our ex- That's... We don't need anything else. One day, my team. Okay. I wonder how much... How much we need for it, another attunement Is slot. That a Here. Oh yeah, the me. SS Flash Shard. You know, I'm actually kind of glad that she asks about that every time you talk to her. That way, because you can forget if you have an Estus Flask in your inventory or not. I don't have any more. Okay, I'll do it a can in attunement. Yeah, I only need one more for five slots. We have five attunement slots now. Let's see what my uh, intelligence and faith is. 22 intent and 22 faith. Five slots. Let's see what that is. So we got that. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need at least one more slot in order to do Flexile Century. I have a plan of how I'm gonna do Flexile Century without dying. Bear of see lest. But it's going to require the replenishment spell. Well, I don't need the replenishment spell just yet, but... <laughs> okay. I don't need the replenishment spell just yet, but... Uh, when it comes for uh, Ruined Sentinel, I'm going to do it. Okay. I think I know what I want to do for Ruined Sentinel. But in order to not use up all of my... In order to not use up all of my amber herbs, it's going to require me to kill some of those enemies a whole bunch of times. You know, ten times. That way, uh... McDuff's workshop, tower part, exile holding spells. Okay. <clears throat> I think we'll go on a little bit more. We'll go on for about, about, about maybe about five more minutes until we get to the first bonfire and then we'll go. Huh. Huh. And we'll go. We'll go until we get to the next McDuff's workshop. Oh, hold on a minute. I almost forgot I need to kill this guy over here. This guy. Oh, right. That works. That makes everything a lot easier. <laughs> now I'm going to go get this item. Solo Brave Warrior and Human Effigy. That works. There's a dog over here. We should try to get him. Alright. That. Does he see me? He doesn't even see me. Oh, he sees me now. Okay, we got him. <laughs> Awesome. Pick up that item. Alluring skull. 
Let's kill these dogs before we go over here. And we'll open up this. Oh, awesome. Soul of a nameless soldier. Good. There's another Estes flask shard around here. Oh, this way. Estes flask shard and large tight night shard. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> okay. You know what? Let's light this, uh... Let's light that uh, torch. I had to cough again. My voice isn't fully, completely healed. But it's getting, it's a lot better than it was. Okay, yeah, let's light this torch. I have the antiquated key, right? Pretty sh yeah, I do, I do, I do. Let's do this. Alright, cool. All right, that works. <clears throat> There's some people in here. I gotta kill them. There's another one. Oh, there he is. Okay, awesome. Those things cause quite a bit of damage if they get you. Flame butterfly. Oh, I didn't need to run all the way back there to get a torch. I just could have used a flame butterfly. I have three flame butterflies right now. Okay. This is going to be a little difficult. Okay, actually that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Usually they all gang up on me and I, I can't even get them. And I have to roll a lot and dodge a lot. Why is this torch on? This torch is on. Man, they must have had. They must have did a lot of stuff while I was away. <clears throat> it used to be this thing. This torches. These torches weren't on. I'm gonna wait for them to exit the cage. Okay, awesome. If you kill them, if you just rapidly kill them while they're still inside the cage, then this item will drop in there, and there's no way for you to get it. You won't be able to jump in there either, so. <clears throat> the Wanderer set. What was that sound? What, is, what the heck are you doing? Okay, that was something. Is there another... What are you doing, man? <clears throat> okay. That was crazy. I'm gonna go back up. Nothing up here, anyway. Oh, there's a item I can get up there. There's another ferrous contraption down here, but it's also kind of useless. I'm going to drink up before I go over here. 
Now, can I kill him in one hit with Resonant Soul? Let's see if I can. How about Dark Great Heavy Soul Arrow? Let's see what that does. Doesn't even kill him in one hit! <clears throat> Doesn't even kill him in one hit. <clears throat> That's the most powerful Soul Arrow we have. Oh my god! If this the regular Great Soul Arrow did more damage than the Great Heavy. How does that make sense? How? <laughs> Bone Staff. Useless. It's not as good as my uh, Sunset Staff. That's for true. Okay, cool. And now we're gonna we're just about ready to end the video. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. How I'm gonna do this. Where are we? Aw oh, dang. I may have to use Resonant Soul for this. Okay, drop down. Okay. Awesome, we got it. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a tough battle. Dropping down in between two enemies like that. I think we're going to call it a day. I'm going to go down and... Uh, Go down. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I think, um... I think I have enough large Titanite shards to upgrade my Arch Drake time chime. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade it, and then I'll go. <laughs> Awesome. Is that a sh here to see? Oh, and then the large Titanite and the the Estus Flash shard. Thanks for reminding me about that. I completely forgot about that Estus Flash shard. Completely forgot about it. Okay, thanks. I reinforce. Arch Drake time. Yep, last time nice yard. 157 to 168. That's nice. Now it needs a Titanite Shunk in order to upgrade. But we can get it. I'll be around. I'm going to buy that uh, replenishment spell. That's what. Or you know, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need to kill everyone ten times, but I sh I probably should. I can do some more upgrades and. I don't know. Maybe I don't need it. I don't know. Maybe I do. Anyway, I'll go back to the, uh, where are we? Lost Bastille. McDuff's workshop. That's what I need. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Make sure you watch my other Dark Souls 2 videos. I have new videos every Monday and every Friday. So make sure you subscribe and stay watching so that you can be notified when I have a new video out. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.